In this video, we'll introduce the concept of negative feedback and how we can apply this fundamental engineering technique to op-amp circuits. We'll use the idealized op-amp model with infinite input impedance, infinite gain, zero output resistance, and infinite bandwidth. This model is a major simplification, but the idealized model is not intended to exist in isolation because op-amps are not intended to be used as open-loop amplifiers. Rather, we almost always incorporate op-amps into a closed-loop configuration. That is, a configuration in which feedback creates a signal path from the input to the output and back to the input. Feedback refers to taking an output signal or a portion of it and returning it, that is feeding it back, to the system's input. Feedback can be negative or positive, but negative feedback is much more common. We create negative feedback by taking the output and combining it with the input signal via subtraction. This simple technique transforms an op-amp into an easy-to-use, versatile component that is more consistent with its idealized model. The critical parameters in a feedback system are the open-loop gain, A, and the feedback factor, beta. The feedback factor corresponds to the portion of the output that is fed back to the input. For example, if the output amplitude is reduced by half before it is fed back, beta equals 0.5. If the output is connected directly to the input stage, beta equals 1. The gain of the negative feedback system, called the closed loop gain, is calculated as G of CL equals A over the quantity 1 plus A times beta. However, if we assume that A is very large, this simplifies to simply 1 over beta. As long as the amplifier's open loop gain is very high, the gain of the system is determined by the components that are used to reduce the amplitude of the output signal before it is fed back to the input. Op amps make it very easy for us to create high performance negative feedback amplifier systems. Subtraction is achieved by connecting the feedback signal to the inverting input terminal, and the op amp's extremely high gain allows us to use the simplified calculation. For example, if A equals 10 to the fifth and beta equals 0.5, the approximate closed loop gain is 2, and the exact value is 1.99996. Now we just need to address the feedback factor. To do this, we can use a basic resistive voltage divider, where beta equals R1 over the quantity R1 plus R2. For example, if we have R1 equal to R2 equal to 1 kilo ohm, then beta equals 0.5. This would result in an amplifier with a gain of 2, and we can adjust the gain by choosing different resistance values. For more details, check out the link in the description or visit allaboutcircuits.com.